problem is that the counties incur the cost, the localities don't pay any of the cost. So there's no incentive to be more efficient. We could have an effective regional system, personnel system, a, an effective regional negotiation system for labor contracts and so on, but everybody has to pay their fair share. And for each separate function, a different person's paying the bill and a different person's getting the benefit. And it just doesn't work, you know, so. Um, not a, not a sufficiently good answer for you. Yeah, Mr. Wise. I detect a little tension in your points. Uh, at the local level, improvement by education, consolidation, regionalization, cooperation, moving up a level. And yet, taken logically, that at the next stage, that means nationalization. And we, we stop there. Um, well, I, I'm not. Something has to be done to control that. Something has to be done to balance this tension between knowing the government, the, the service providers, and doing the job. Well, I, I uh, you're right. Well, you're right about one thing that the di that uh, that um, discourse tends to get a little too casual. What I mean to say is this: you can have collaboration among local governments and deliver a service at a regional level without giving way to regionalizing the whole operation and having the governance entirely remote from the local uh, local communities. And I think that's um, the model that we're going to, that, that, that we'll have to pursue practically and in, in, in the Northeast, and that's probably the desirable model. So if I misspoke or miscommunicated, that would be my fault. Uh, regard, I'm not advocating for creation of uh, special purpose governments willy-nilly, quite to the contrary. I think that the task should be left to the general purpose governments and we should find remedies for uh, our needs beyond the boundaries of those governments through the collaboration of those governments and within the boundaries by artful and, and intelligent uh, sub-unit structures. I think that's not o that's n that's n not only the the, s the desirable goal, but also the necessity. What do you think of metropolitan government as it exists currently in places like Indianapolis, Louisville, Nashville, which are essentially county-wide jurisdictions that well, wipes out the most of the internal distinctions? as a remedy for what ails New York. New England, I think, by the way, is uh, has an entirely different tradition. In New England, the towns were always the focus and the county was an afterthought. In New York, it's the county that matters and the towns are sort of No, well, that's the, the, uh, there's four or five things to say. First of all, the greatest metropolitan experiment is New York City, and, and, and very few people remember that, no. 18, and that's the one I know. I know in, in, in enormous detail. and. Uh, uh, the problem is evident that you, you can't keep changing the boundaries to catch up with the population movement. <laughs> so you can't contain the, the, the economy's dynamic, the society's dynamic. Uh, the, the thing that uh, people in Westchester, some of you may know, Westchester County, Nassau County, which was created as a condition of creating Greater New York, uh, the thing they learned was that you had to make sure that there was a constitutional provision that that would never happen again. And they achieved that in 1920. Uh, to, that it would never happen again, that you couldn't, that you couldn't take pieces of Nassau and put them in New York City. You couldn't take pieces of Westchester. Because it happened in 1898. They figured out that they didn't want it to happen to them, and they changed the New York Constitution in 1920, uh, I think 1922, to make sure that wouldn't happen. So the, 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 the problem of the Metropolitan Remedy is that you, can't, you have to keep changing the boundaries. And then you have the question of scale, which was brought up. Uh, New York City, the fundamental failure of governance in the metropolitan New York is that there's no local government there. The, the idea that New York City is a local government is, is mind-boggling, you know, $67 billion budget. 
uh, and, and the community boards are, are in New York City, some of you may know, the community boards are ineffectual. They're not governments. They're, they're, they're locuses for public discontent and discussion, some few powers. So I think that ultimately the metropolitan remedy doesn't work. It's good for things like delivering transportation systems. Now regarding New York, and uh, New York has towns and counties, and the towns are empowered and the counties are empowered. New England has largely a, a, a moribund counties and town government, and the South has largely county government, and New York and Pennsylvania and Illinois and places like that have, a, have them both, and that's part of our problem. Yes? Well, um, it's interesting. Uh, first of all, Christie has done some substantial things in New Jersey. New Jersey does fa face a lot of the same problems as we do in, in New York. Uh, I can't say that the problems in, in Massachusetts are the same as Jersey. I, I don't know. Um, but I'm always cherry of, of a person's first success being uh, uh, the basis of judgment. You know, I'm kind of a a wait-and-see kind of guy. Um, the, uh, the persistence of Christie's achievement will be tested when uh, the schools start laying off kids, when the class size goes up to 35, um, when the property taxes in New Jersey, uh, uh, local communities are pressed, when people want their services, they don't want their lights cut off, they don't want their roads less well maintained. And, uh, and then uh, the answer is to raise the property tax there. And I don't believe they have a an effective cap. I, I think they have a statutory cap. So we'll we'll see, we'll see. But the but the point you're making is the point I'm making. We're in a point of crisis. People are pushing back. We're coming up against limits. We have to find better ways to do things. And you know, ultimately, cutting is not the answer. The answer is doing the ta getting the task done in a better way. If I was convinced that we were maximally efficient, I wouldn't be here giving this talk. You know, we, 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 there are so many, uh, I, I get dozens of messages every day about better ways to do this, that, or the other thing. Some of them aren't really better, so you have to be critically intelligent. But the degree to which we can achieve that is the striking problem. It's interesting to me that most people learn by what happens next door. Most people don't learn in this cosmic academic way. Most people in Ulster County want to know how they do it in Dutchess County. They don't want to know how they do it in Putnam County even or how they do it in Massachusetts. Well, you, you know what I mean? So, so, so it, from an academic point of view, I'm on a network of blogs and, I make fun, but blogs and and communication systems and magazines uh, or, or net-based magazines and all that, I, I can't read all that I get. And I get lots of ideas about, most of my work is about specific functions. Right now, f forgive me for, for, uh, for, for detail, we have a jail in every county. Yeah. Why do we want a jail in every county? We don't need a jail in every county. We have, we ha you know, we have, we have a uh, Sullivan County. Some of you may know Sullivan County with uh, Borscht Belt, and I don't know if any of you are aware of that. Sullivan County has a jail that is embarrassing to go into. It is like a, a 19th century dungeon. So there's great pressure to, to build a jail in, in Sullivan County. $100 million. The people in Sullivan County can't afford that. They're overtaxed, and it's a poor place. The economy has gone south, literally. <laughs> Well, that's the point.